Welcome back. Uh, today we'll be solving February March 2021. Last time we solved three questions of this series. So today we'll be covering uh, more three questions. So we solve this um, um, these questions also. So we'll go to oscillation part question number four. So here, the defining equation of simple harmonic motion is a equals to minus omega square x so what is the significance of minus sign so what you can write is so accelerations you know, so you can write acceleration is proportional to opposite displacement and these are the answers this is simple one max you'll get and here so that the resultant force on the trolley at the moment is released is german so what you can do is f equals to kx you know this so we have got this and 0.096 so you'll get 0.768 equals to 0.77 newton so this is for two marks yeah and the mass of the trolley so mass of the trolley what you can do is fx equals to kx you know already so uh, 0.77 equals to ma and acceleration equals to 0 0.77 over uh, 25 times 10 to the power 3 because you have in grain so 3.1 this will be 3.08 simple okay so use your entering uh, to determine t so how we can determine t uh, like you have got a equals to minus omega square x so from here you have 3.08 and equals to minus 2 omega t all the square times 0 0.096 the value of x so from here you get like 0 0.8 equals to 4 pi square by t square so from here you will get a value of t 0 0.9 0 0.901 can write 1.0 so time period is 1.0 so instead uh, so the experiment is repeated with an initial displacement of the trolley of 2.4 centimeter so for this questions what you can write um, so effect are less displacement cause less time period and velocity increasing so what you can write is so less uh, displacement uh, just cause cause uh, less time period less time period and velocity increasing okay i just write this in short form you can write this in full term okay full so back to question number five okay so new question so instead what is mean by amplitude modulation of the radio wave you can uh, see definitions in a book and this also you can do it by your own this is not too difficult so b number what is the b number is okay the variation of frequency of the amplitude a of transmitted radio wave after amplitude modulation by an audio single signal is so in figure so you have got this signal so this question is asking you to find a uh, wavelength so how can you find a wavelength you know formula right so c equals to fx so from this uh, we we know uh, 3.0 into 10 to the power 8 speed of life over 5 1500 times it is in hertz so you can get displacement that is wavelength lambda 200 lambda very simple so maximum frequency of maximum frequency 510 it's very simple 5 or 1510 not 510 sorry so here another audio signal with the same maximum frequency is transmitted using a different carrier wave frequency the lowest frequency of this modulated wave is equal to the highest frequency of the modulated wave in b so you know this uh, highest frequency lowest frequency is f2 minus this difference you can get this is uh 10 okay and from here you 
510 equals to F2 so therefore F2 frequency carrier wave is 520 oh, so this plus 10 so 1520 again I say 520 1520 uh, next question state similarity between the gravitational field lines around a point mass and the electric field lines around a point of mass so you can write they have radial and have same inverse square law so radial uh, one is they have radial and have same inverse square law so inverse same same inverse square law okay square same inverse square law i don't have tablets so i'm writing it on my uh, laptop so uh, it's the radius of this sphere so you can easily determine this is the radius so 2.1 <clears throat> another question calculate the charge on this sphere so how can you calculate the charge so you have got i think you have got e uh, oh uh, e is a uh, 1 by 3 so formula we know the formula e equals to q by 4 by absolute r square from here you will get charge e times uh, 4 by absolute r square so put the value of e that is 1.3 into 10 to the power of 5 and same same you will get uh, what you will get uh, i need calculator wait mm, calculator Oh, 6 point okay so 6.4 into 10 to the power 5 so 6.4 into 10 to the power 5 using the formula of the electric field potential due to isolated charge determine the capacitance of the sphere so first thing you remember q equals to c into b so capacitance equals to q by b so you already have got q so you need to find b so for V, you know, Q by 4 pi absolute R square. So what is the Q we have here? Uh, Q is 6.4. So 6.4 into 10 to the power uh, minus 5. What over, um, you can use 6 into 5 minus 4. 6.4 into 10 to the power 5 is more. Over 4 pi absolute not value is um, 8 point um, wait absolute not value we have to see it again absolute not value it is e oh one point uh, oh, eight point eight five eight point eight five into uh, 10 to the power minus one two value okay absolute value so four pi into uh, absolute not value please wait for a while uh, times r square so how much r we have got here we have um, r that is uh, 2.1 2.1 whole square okay so it this is kind of three zero four nine something something and put this uh, voltage here you'll get capacitance place it here okay so this questions this is non-inverting amplifier non-inverting amplifier inverting and okay so how can you show the gain of the amplifier is 1.60 so 6.0 so in the formula again equals to uh, 1 plus RF by R in so 1 plus uh, what is RF RF is 3.0 oh, this is 3.60 and R in 0 0.72 so 3.6 0 0.72 6.0 okay so i'll be also uploading next video of these complete solutions um uh, solved past papers i'll show this uh, so all solved questions on next video wait for this wait for that okay thank you thank you for watching this and don't forget to subscribe